hey guys, you have your exam timetables now, and the way they've been given to you is probably just a list of the exams that you are sitting. So you probably don't know there's an extra exam at the end. You probably don't know that exists because they've never had to use it before, and um, they really, really don't want to. But is there in case of cheating? They have backup papers if one gets leaked or one gets put on social media. They have them ready and waiting, and if somebody cheats in an exam, then everyone, and I literally do mean the whole country, might have to resit that paper. And this is not something we want to happen. So in today's video, we're going to be looking at what happens if you cheat in an exam. I mean, the first thing to say is don't. Don't. You will get found out. It is literally not worth it. And any stories that you hear of, um, you know, people saying they wrote in their arms or they, like, you know, took their phone into the exam, they are lying, okay? Do not cheat in an exam. Um, I know this is a big scandal in America um, at the moment about people paid to take exams for them. They got found out and they had loads and loads of money and they tried very, very hard to cover it up. So you kind of like, you, I mean, maybe you do have loads of money, maybe your parents are celebrities, I don't know you, but I, my parents are not celebrities, I do not have loads of money, I'm just a standard person, I would never be able to get away with this. Standard people, normal people cannot get away with cheating in exams. So we're going to talk about two hypothetical situations and what happened in these hypothetical situations. If a student took a photo in the exam hall of the paper that they were sitting in the exam and then decided to share that on social media afterwards, um, there was no evidence that he was like, you know, cheating, there was no evidence that he'd used his phone during the exam. This was kind of like, here is a photo of me in the exam hall. Here is a photo of my exam paper. I'm going to put this on social media. The exam boards will find you. The exam boards do have computers and internet and do look at things like Twitter and YouTube and Instagram just to see what's going on, really. Just to see whether one liked the exam or everyone didn't like the exam. They're not stalking you, it's not weird, it's not creepy. I mean, you're putting stuff out there in the public domain, people are going to find it. However, if you put in the public domain that you took your phone into an exam hall, which you know you're not supposed to do, either leave it in your locker, or leave it in your bag, or give it to a teacher, you will get disqualified. And it doesn't just mean being disqualified from that one exam, it means disqualification from GCSEs. That's a lot. All of that hard work you've put in is gone because you wouldn't leave your phone outside the exam hall. So even if you don't get your phone out, even if you don't use it, even if it just goes off because, you know, someone's sending you a WhatsApp to say good luck in the exam, if you take your phone into exam hall and it goes off, if you take your phone into exam hall and you're stupid enough to take a picture and then tweet it, you will be found out this is cheating, you will get disqualified. Please, please don't do it. Now, if an exam paper gets leaked, for example, if it gets given to a group of students in error, or, you know, if there is a really, really bad situation where it was given out to students on purpose, and pictures of this get leaked on social media before the exam, Chances are a lot of people are going to see these pictures um, and then when they come out of the exam, they're going to tell somebody. There is no way you can get, I mean, I mean it's hard to get two people to keep a secret, it's hard to get five people to keep a secret. Once it's out to ten people, it's not a secret. Once you put it on social media, it's definitely not a secret, you will get found out. They will tell the teachers, the teachers will tell the exam board, the exam board will investigate. They will find out how many students saw this, they will find out how many students in different schools saw this. And depending on how many students it's affected, how many papers it's affected, they can do a few things. They can change the grade boundaries. They can assume that everyone 
got the marks. So they can just tick all of those questions as right and say, look, the grade band is high because we've assumed everyone's got these marks because the paper was leaked or this question was leaked and there's nothing we can do about it. Or we come back to the thing that we said at the beginning. There is this extra date at the end of the exam period where the examiners can declare the exam null and void and get everyone in the whole country back in to resit a different exam. Now, for example, if you have biology paper one um, where this occurred, that's the very first one in the middle of May, and this extra date is the middle end of June. I just want you to imagine how awful it would be if you had to go and do biology paper one again on short notice because some idiot decided to cheat in the exam. Cheating in the exam in the age of social media no longer just affects one person, it literally negatively affects the entire country. Every single person who is sitting that exam, every single person who um, has seen that social media post is going to be negatively affected by this. You may not think it at the time, you may just think it's a bit of fun, you may just think it's a laugh, you may think you're going to be like, your friends will really appreciate you posting these photos in social media, but they will not appreciate it if they know that you are the cause of the entire country having to resit an exam. So, before you go into an exam and cheat, please, please think about the consequences. The consequences between having all of your GCSEs um, not disqualified from being all GCSEs, having all that hard work, your entire school career basically amounting to nothing, and then um, potentially being the most hated person in the whole entire country because everyone had to resit an exam because of you. So, um, unless I didn't make this very clear in the whole of this video, don't cheat in your exams, it will end badly, very badly. You will be very unpopular. Nobody will like you if you cheat in your exams. Please don't do it. Ouch. Mm, I'll be too